Hayden, where are you? <laughs> oh, no idea. A rolling triple header. And those two boys, they've caught plenty of Jack Cravels, and we see that a lot. But throwing a jig or a surface lure out there and just seeing fish coming oh. from basically every direction to attack it is a really cool thing. Oh, look, there he is. Nice shark, dude. That's a big bull, Turner. That's your biggest bull. <laughs> That's insane. Hayden rolling. <laughs> What about that? Yeah. Oh! Yeah! Come on, come on. Oh! He ate it. 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 Nice, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I got him. Relax. Oh! Dude, he just ripped my boat off. Oh! Awesome. Look at that big boy. Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Tom Rowland and Captain Rich Tudor. Ready to catch some fish today, boys? Yeah. yeah. All right, me too. Got a beautiful day. Hey, say beautiful gentlemen. day. All right. Boys are ready to go. All right. Let's roll on out. All right. Got a little bit of everything ready. We could do about anything today. The weather's so nice. Yeah, man. You know, up here, there's a lot of good good uh, mangrove spots and channels up against the mainland that can be good. And, and then if uh, if that's not happening, um, it's so calm. We could run out in the Gulf. There's some wrecks. Um, it's been really jamming. So blaze around, see what we can find. Sounds good. What do you think there, big boy? I don't know. Tom Maybe tells me you've been, been working out. Look. You guys might be able to handle something big. <laughs> <laughs> they could probably do it. You know, I had the opportunity to take my boys fishing two days. And uh, the first day we put in in Key Largo, it was slick, calm, perfect day to go out there and explore. And uh, you know, some of these inshore wrecks, which I take the boys and do that all the time in Key West, but this is a different deal. Well, the backcountry wrecks, you know, especially in the, in the fall, um, they can hold everything. Yeah. And, and when it comes to uh, the type of fish that we'd expect to see, I mean, permit was on the list. Jackerval, sharks, Goliath grouper. I mean, you know, it's just, you never know what's going to be out there. Right. Even redfish, I heard about some big yeah. redfish out there. Um, with the kids, you know, I know that they, you know, they're up for absolutely anything. And at the, the, the stage in life they are now, they're capable of catching anything. Yeah. So, um, you know, as we were going out, you know, getting being rigged and ready, we were rigging um, a couple top water plugs, having those ready to cast at whatever. We had a couple, um, jigs. A couple jigs, some crab rods ready yep. um, for the permit. We, and we had the big guns. We had the big, yep. uh, you know, the rods for sharks or Goliath grouper, and you know, we, we, we had to be ready for everything. And uh, you know, running out there, the, the, the real key to that fishery is getting the right weather. It's a long ride. It might be up, you know, 40, 50 miles from, from, from the Keys um, to get out there to some of those better spots. But on the right day, it's worth it. Anything like those blue runners, guys, we're gonna keep those. Blue runners, Jack Cravels, anything like that. See them over there to the right, Rich? Yep. When we first got out there, I mean, you know, it was a long ride, especially that last five miles. It gets a little yep. rough or you're in that open water. Um, but when we finally got there, I mean, even before we were, we were probably about half a mile from the wreck, we see this, these birds coming down. We see the activity going crazy. And, 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 you know, we get the boys up there. We got them both a top water plug. We started idling up to the spot. And sure enough, here's all these explosions and stuff yep. going on. And the boys cast in with these plugs. Boom, big schools of Jack Cravals coming after them. That was awesome. They double up and work game on. There's big Cravals, and there might be redfish underneath of these or something. Oh, Go wow. ahead and throw in there, Turner. I'm tangled a little bit. See, we're just seeing the little ones on the surface, but there's a bunch of stuff underneath. Oh. Yeah, baby. Hey, where are you? <laughs> I have no idea. A rolling triple header. And those two boys, they've caught plenty of plenty of Jack Cravels, and we see that a lot. But there's never, I mean, no matter where you are in your fishing career, throwing a jig or a surface lure out there and just seeing fish coming oh. from basically every direction to attack it is a really cool thing. That's a nice jack there, man. So these bigger jacks, you're gonna have to follow them around the boat and stuff, Hayden. Go ahead and just follow them around. Go around the trolling motors and power poles and stuff. Boy, that's a whopper jack here. Same, same thing, Turner. Go ahead and follow them around. These boys are uh, in charge. And Tom, I got a net up front if you, you want to net any of these. Look at the size of that jack. Woo. Nice, buddy. I love Jack Cravels. I really do. I, I think that they're probably one of my favorite fish because 
they cooperate, man. Those are very cooperative fish. You know, I don't care what the point of the day is. If they're out there, we're gonna we're gonna probably catch some. And you know, the boys are excited about it. They're catching them. They pull hard. And uh, they pull it, real hard, especially yeah. on those light rods we were fishing. I mean. Right. And then there's also the opportunity or the possibility that there could be other fish in there with them. He didn't have much okay, room. Hayden, swing that back to Rich. I'll get this uh, nice. hookless one on here and keep these guys right around us. And we'll also be able to see just exactly what's here. That gave you a pretty good pull, huh? Your dad's always telling me these are one of his favorite fish. They're fun to catch. They are. It's really cool when you're seeing them going crazy okay. on the surface like that. Let's see. Nice. Good job, man. Oh, look, there he is. Nice shark, dude. That's a big bull, Turner. That's your biggest bull. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Hawks K, the only key you'll need. By Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. The Florida Keys and Key West, come as you are. Vicious, get vicious. And by Powerpole. And Buff. Oh, here they come, here they come, here they come. Look at them coming. Look at them coming. Oh, there's some nice ones in there. there. Good job. <laughs> Look at all of them. Holy Look shit. at them all. <laughs> Look at that craziness. Woo! Oh, that's sweet. It's incredible. And you could just see those fish coming up from so far away to attack that plug. Off in the distance, you're seeing other schools of Jack Crevels, and man, they are just chewing everything in the ocean. And you can see, I think there was little schools of Ballyhoo out there. And when those schools of Ballyhoo would come through and meet a school of Jacks, you know, the, the Ballyhoo would start jumping, the Jacks would start right. frenzying, and it was just happening. That was the best Jack Crevel fishing I've ever seen. Is that right? It was so calm. You could see the, 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 the glow of the school coming, yeah. even when they weren't busting. And, and you'd throw something in there, and then they'd start chasing that plug. And, and I mean, they'd be right at the boat. And, and it was just, that was just some fun fishing. Yeah. Oh, look at them all chasing us. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. That's amazing. I remember we want to land every one of these guys for, for bait. Oh, look at that craziness going on. It's amazing. Right, let me go with these. Turn it. Take your time, follow them around. Where that action is, that's where other things are gonna happen. You could possibly see school of redfish out there. It could be mackerel. It could be, you could see cobias around those things. You could see big sharks around there. And, and it we didn't did take long before big we sharks. saw that. It's going the wrong way there. You know what, you might've got eaten. <laughs> they got eaten by something, didn't they? Yeah, I bet it did. His fish got eaten. When we got into that, that one school of jacks and one of them had on one of those jacks, and out of nowhere, yep. this big, brown, nasty-looking shark comes up. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's dang. a big shark right came out of him. Oh, that was so cool. To throw that, throw it out, hook a jack. As soon as Turner saw that, he saw that big shark, and he was like, I want to catch that. And he starts putting on the harness, and he's getting ready. And he was committed. And, and what we needed at that point was bait. So there's no better bait than what they're eating, what they're naturally eating in those big jack crevels this big. Now Hayden, on the other hand, he's fine catching the jacks. He was totally fine catching the jacks, but Turner wanted that shark. He steps to the back of the boat. I don't think I ever saw him go to the front of the boat again. He was just, I'm staying right here. He was here. ready. Okay, open it up. All right, now that's some fresh bait for you there. As soon as we got a jack crevel, we hooked that on. It didn't take long. You made a little cut in the jack, had him back there, and you know I was kind of trolling the boat along with the trolling motor a little bit. And next thing I know, I see this big brown boy coming, big bull shark, right on the top of the water. I and mean, here he's coming. He's got. He's on it. Turner, you see the bait. Ready, you see the bait. He's coming. Look, oh, look, wow. look how hot he's coming on the bait. Turner. He's coming Holy on the bait. Holy cow, so Turner! Dorsal fin cutting across. I mean, he was coming. That he is, was coming. That he was is coming. So exciting. And I could see him from so far away because the, the light was so good yep. with the beautiful sun. And 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 he's coming and coming. And finally, he eats it and bam, big yeah. bull shark. Let him, let him take some line. Right. Crank it. How heavy is that drag? 
Watch, watch the power pole's down. That's probably enough. Jam it in there, good. All right, that's good it. job, Turner. Good job, bud. Hey, right before you saw that, I saw a school permit. I need to get over there. You wanted a big one. There you go. One of the most important things we find um, about sight fish and seeing the fish in the water is uh, elevation. Um, certainly you have to have a good pair of polarized sunglasses, the best you can have, but you have to be high. Um, the higher we are, the more you see the fish in the water. When I started guiding, we had um, flats boats with um, polling platforms. That was a big deal. Um, the guy standing up on the polling platform, he's a little higher than the guy up front, so he could see the fish a little bit better. And then uh, over the years, we, we started building casting platforms, or we even put, started putting our, our coolers, our Yeti coolers up on the front and standing on those. That three, two, three feet of elevation made a huge difference. Probably every foot higher we get, we can see you know a few feet further in the water. Um, and the key is to see the fish before they see us. And uh, so the higher we are, the further we can see the fish. And Tom and I were fishing tournaments once, we brought in a ladder on the boat. It was that important. We bought a rickety old ladder, put it on the boat. Tom was perched up on this ladder just so he could see those fish a little bit further away. And then we could catch them and have an advantage. But the coolest thing that we've done now is we started to um, get these boats with towers, these bay boats with the little short towers on them with a hard top. And man, that is unbelievable. Standing on the top of that hard top using the remote control trolling motor um, just allows us to have a, a situation that we can only dream of. Seeing fish in the water that the guys down on the deck don't even know that are there. Um, seeing them from, from further away that we can even cast. It's just such an advantage to us. So whenever you're on the flats there, try to get that elevation and it's a big, big advantage. K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. By Lorance, find, navigate, dominate. Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Loadmaster and Costa. I knew your boys, you know, especially, you know, big and stronger they've gotten, I knew, I knew they wanted to catch some big stuff. I knew yeah. they wanted to challenge, and there's no better place. Yes, we could have caught some smaller sharks inshore and stuff, but you go out to those those wrecks, and there are some big, <laughs> nasty critters out there. Yeah, and um, Turner, you know, that bull shark that he got was definitely the largest bull shark that he's ever caught. We've caught a lot of sharks, man. I mean, he's, he's always liked catching sharks since he was a little kid, and he's caught a lot of them. That bull shark, though, it was so wide in the shoulders and the head area. It was just a really, really big, nasty creature. That's a really big, sh big bull. Big bull. Big nice. bull. Nice. Really big, low, and he is low squat. nowhere close. Low squat there. There's. <laughs> look at all those eagle rays. Yeah, eagle rays all over. Oh, look, there he is. Nice shark, dude. Oh, that's a big bull, Turner. Holy. Cow. That's your biggest bull. That place goes to probably number one on the list of places not to go swimming. It has muddy water, high concentration of bait fish and jack crevels, and it's got, you know, tons of activity, and it has big, giant sharks. There are a lot of places that have all of those things, but this one, on that particular day, everything was aggressive. Nice, nice buddy. You wanted a big bull, there you go. <laughs> that is hey, a big boy. Let's ride back this way. <laughs> Turner, what clay, weight class do you wrestle? 170. I think he's, I think he's in your class or, or above. <laughs> Woo! The guy hadn't seen 170 in a while. <laughs> when I was holding on to him, I had his dorsal like this, and man, the thing turned around and came close. I was like, Hayden, come up here and feel this guy's dorsal. And then he's like, no, thanks. Eh, you know, maybe that's not such a good idea. Whoa! That's a nice fish. And think how many of those there are down here right now. There's tons. We saw them just swarming. Every time we got near that wreck and, and had a, uh, a big jack crawl. That's a nice one, buddy. At one point, I can't remember when it was, but we had a, a bait back there, and I remember seeing the one shark would come up, and then another one, 
and another one. And even when even when um, Turner was fighting that one, at one point we had that big, I mean, this is a big fish, 300 pound bull shark or something, right at the boat, right? And another one came out of that murky water out of nowhere and like tried to attack the one that we had yeah. at the boat. You've got an angry looking face. Woo! Look, another one coming up right behind him. Oh, oh my goodness! The other one almost ate that one. Yeah, it did. Wow, do not put your hands too close to the water. Did you see that? Whoa! I'm yeah. thinking to myself at that point, this is the place I would never want to fall in the water. Okay. Okay, just right there. And if I can, if we can keep tension on it, I can get that right there and we'll be done. Nice job, man. <laughs> Say goodbye. Way to go. There's a big fish. Good job, Tony. Way to go. <laughs> That's awesome. Turner. Everything's great. And, uh, you know, while we're there, one of the jacks gets eaten by a Goliath grouper right on the surface. And so we know he's right here. There's a Goliath grouper right here, too. So I ask Hayden, I'm like, okay, you want to catch this thing? And he's kind of like, hmm. You know, I mean, here's a giant fish, you know, and it's real easy to be like, just don't know if I want to work that hard right now. But, uh, but Hayden changed his mind. He's like, you know what? I do want to do that. Going down deep enough. How deep is it, Rich? The, the, the marks are at 14 feet. Keep dropping it right down. There's big stuff right behind us. I might want to cut his tail off. Okay, you're you, on. Some ate it. Crank it down. Something Wait. ate it. Real hard. I believe you got a nibble. He's moving. You're on. Real hard. Real. Oh, wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, he's going the other way. He's going the other way. Oh, I see him. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. Look at him coming oh, right on the surface. Stop, 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 stop. Four of them. Leave it right there. See those? Oh, my see goodness. Okay. Oh, my goodness. See Look at him right under it. Oh, he's so oh my gosh. Oh, it's like a top water bait. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, God. Let him, let him oh take my. a little second. Okay. You got him now. You're, you're on. Ready? Hold on tight. Oh, that was so oh. cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy oh, cool. To engage. There Set go. the hook into him. Okay, real hard and fast. Hard. Dude, that fast, was a 400 pounder. That's good. Now come back hard with a run. See all that weight training paying off here, buddy. These Goliaths, you know, if, if I've ever seen them before, you know, in clear water, they're always right on the rack, right on the bottom. This, they're bottom fish, right? right? And when I guess that Jack had enough light to where he, he, you know, he had a weight on there, a pretty good sized weight to get him down to the bottom. But he got so scared about what was down there, he started swimming right. to the surface. And these, these fish were coming up to the surface. These bottom fish, these groupers, yeah. were coming up to the surface to chase them. Nothing, it was nothing crazy. different than a 10-pound than a largemouth eating a, eating a frog on the surface. Uh, Hold on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you're you're squat, dude. I promise you. I think the gloves are in here. Oh, God. This thing is really pulling. Here's some real ones. Put some on. <laughs> but do you guys see those guys coming Man, up after? I've up, never seen that they, before. That looked like a largemouth bass eating a frog. It really <laughs> did. That was awesome. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by True Flies, life off the chart. By Mercury Marine, number one on the water. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. And by Motor Guide and Fraybill. You want to see more saltwater experience? Go to saltwaterexperience.com for exclusive web content. We've got how-to videos, behind the scenes footage, and things you've never seen on TV. Go to saltwaterexperience.com now. I'll tell you what, Hayden, you know, Hayden's an athlete. He's a very strong young man. He has gotten so much stronger over the last year that, you know, I think that he looks at that fish and he's thinking, well, boy, I don't know. But man, Hayden's as strong as a grown man, and I knew he could do it. And he's got the, he's got the whole harness on, you know, the, we've got the good fighting belt and then the, the back harness, and he's tied into the reel, and he's holding on to something behind him, and I'm holding on to him. Man, this thing is just giving him everything. And finally, it goes down and gets in the wreck. It is in the wreck. He's not coming out. He's stuck in the wreck. You got to go right over the top of him. 
He's not. Wait, 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 wait. He just came out. He just came out. Real, 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 real. Hard and fast, hard and fast. Stop, 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 stop. Hard and fast. Here he comes, here he comes. Power pulls down. Power pulls down. Whoa. Okay. Way to go, Hayden. Good work, man. Shit. Put that up there. He's coming up. He's going to be right up here. Put him on with the power pole. In just a second, we can bring him up. There he is right there. I can see him clearly. You're good, bud. That's a way. Look at you leaning back, man. Nice you know job. what's up? You know what's oh up? Oh, look at this fish you've got on. <laughs> That's serious big fella right there. <laughs> That's insane. Hayden rolling. <laughs> What about that? Yeah. <laughs> Just an overall super cool situation. I think that probably was one of the biggest fish he's ever caught. Both boys are just smiling ear to ear. You know, it's been a day that was constant action from the moment we got there. You know, jack, jack, shark, jack, shark, jack, break off here, break off there, hookless plug. It was happening. It was on, and, and it gave those boys a tremendous amount of respect because both of them told me on the way home, Dad, I would not want to swim in that place. And it's just nice, you know, to, to, to let them see that every now and then, that the ocean can be a very, very, very nasty place. And it's not always, you know, super clear water and tropical fish out on the reef, man. There's some spots out there that you don't really want to be going swimming. And that was, that was number one on my list right there. Woo! Nice, nice job, Aiden.